Kia ora te whano. I wanted just to share some thoughts with you this festive season about the fact that even good stress, even the excitement of this holiday period can be difficult to deal I with. To give you some ideas, some suggestions and a bit of my own experience about how I have been managing good stress that I've been experiencing lately. So stay tuned. My friends, I think you know by now that I'm honored to be sponsored by GQ Legal Specialists. For all your legal needs in Aotearoa, New Zealand, consider GQ. My dear ones, I am out in the elements and actually it is really restorative for me. As you guys know, many of you know I love nature, even when it's a bit wild and wet as it is today. I wanted to share some thoughts about good stress. Do you remember the video we had before with Mark, with my beloved? We talked about stress, didn't we? I refer you back to that video, my loves, because it's really going to be useful as a grounding to this quarter of this conversation. I kind of wanted to think a little bit about the fact that even when we are happy and we get something that we've wanted for a while, it can cause stress and it's very difficult to talk about because most people would be like, what are you complaining about, right? In those moments, what I find the most useful is to put it all with those who know me well. And the person who knows me really well, of course, is my beloved husband. And so it comes down to these simple things. Being able to have someone that you feel safe enough to share whatever feels vulnerable for you. You can get a hug. These days, hugs sometimes feel quite special, don't they? And for many, a long period, some of us were only hugging others in our bubbles and things like that, right? So if it's possible, then definitely see if you can get some physical comfort from someone safe, from someone who cares about you and loves you. And you know, don't be too perfectionistic about that because sometimes, you know, like if it's your family members, they might not understand all the intricacies, but if they have your best interests at heart, don't be too quick to dismiss the, the comfort and the love that they can give you. So thought I'd ask Marky a few questions, um, just following on from our korero. So Marky, at Christmas time, I know that sometimes it's all a bit much and mm, yeah, yes. a bit loud and a bit whatever, but we tend to have pretty low key Christmases. I guess this question is for you, but I guess it's also for our wider audience and anyone who is maybe also neurodiverse. You know, that's a whole, Marky's got lots of content about, you know, what we mean when we say neurodiverse. So you can check that out and subscribe to his channel. Um, but Marky, yeah, what would, what would help do you think around Christmas or what does help I should say because hopefully we're already doing the stuff that helps yeah I think you have really I, mm. um, I just find it all very overwhelming really um, mm. I struggle with decorations oh, okay I once they're up really because mm, you love the tree but, but yeah but the idea of it mm. know, it just seems, feels mm. like oh no this is and there's stuff everywhere and there's yes you know, there's the decorations not being around when the decorations are going up is probably a good yeah thing. that's a good one yeah um and kind of having things tidy yeah extra tidy because there's decorations everywhere uh-huh yeah I suppose. yeah um, that makes sense <laughs> and no social uh kind of activities whatsoever <laughs> 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 bah humbug we may we may have one or two this year just to yeah but yeah. generally we don't we're not out partying are we mm. we're not really party people no. yeah we used to be though it's funny isn't yeah. it before we met when we were young we both Alcohol of us had something to do with it. yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. and also the fact that we work so intensely with people now, yeah we, it's you know, so different when you do kind the of, kind of work we do yeah, yeah. Nice food. I love the food aspect. Of food. <laughs> <laughs> Always the way. Um, yeah. I like. Um, I like having lots of kind of nibbly things that you can just throw together on a plate. Yeah. Like that's what Christmas right. is about for me, really. Yeah. Well. And what about any tips for anyone who loves someone who is a bit aspy on the spectrum, or any other things that you've come to to know? are helpful in the broader sense also because we also started off really this this video 
thinking about good stress, thinking about the stresses that come from life going well, but I guess it means changes. So, mm. and the kind of backstory to this, guys, is like we've had really some positive changes in terms of our business and you're about to sign a new contract and it's all really great and expansive and good but also means more work and potentially and you know different different challenges mm. so yeah i mean so yeah this is a slightly more broader question marky yeah i recognize that they need some refuge you know create, mm. help create refuges and also if they struggle mm. um don't give them a hard time over it you know just yeah that they may need to take time out right um, nice one yeah I've, you know, I've had a lot of experiences of uh, being really kind of persecuted for taking time out. Yeah. I'm persecuting right. myself for taking time out. Yes. I'm not bad about it, yeah. But, you know, right. Why. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so important. So, yeah, that's important. I'd say don't have anyone to stay. Um, mm. Don't stay at anyone else's house. <laughs> uh, don't have Christmas dinner with anyone apart from your very nearest and dearest. Mm. And don't have anyone to Christmas dinner that's not your nearest. You know, part of your nearest yeah, and dearest. <laughs> that would be that would be the dream, really, for a lot of people. I know that is not it's not it doesn't even seem like a doable thing for a lot of people. They end up having Christmas dinner or like Thanksgiving mm. in the states. You're with people who you you might not like at all. You know, yeah. so I think yeah, we you you and I, Mark, you're in a privileged position that we we very much have mm. chosen the family that we the, the people who have been elevated to the status of family. Um, and who we have yeah. in our in our hearts and around us and close to us, but yeah. yeah, I guess a lot of people don't have that luxury. I suppose the main thing is avoid avoid the shoulds. You know? Yeah, if you, big one. If you enjoy all the, you know, if you enjoy, you know, I mean, that's being uh, exaggerating a little bit, yeah, you know, and for effect. But if you enjoy, you know, having lots of people around and seeing certain people in the state and you know, all that mm. sort of thing, then do it. But if you don't, you know, don't just do it for the sake of it or yeah. to please other people because Absolutely. you're paying a high cost for it. Absolutely, and mental your mental health will be that mm. cost, right? So if you have any closing thoughts, my There's dear. Two things, I suppose. One thing I, I find quite difficult about Christmas, New Year, especially, is that people kind of become um, very excitable and start behaving in a way that's completely <laughs> different to normal. Right. And I think you know, being neurodiverse, I find that I find that very hard. Uh, I find that overexcitability. Yeah. Of, of people kind of whoa, you know, what's going on here? Yeah. You know, right. Um, it's different to thing. usual. I think you know, if you're in the northern hemisphere. Um, I think the whole thing about Christmas is, um, you know, it's it's winter, it's cold, mm. um, it's dark. So you kind of, you do have a feast and you do have some celebration and some fun, but it's, mm. it's supposed to also be kind of relaxing. Yeah, kind of going inwards. And restorative. Yeah, mm. so uh, whereas everyone's like, oh, Christmas, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. Yeah, and, and absolutely. Talk about us. missing the point. Yeah, people mm. want to sell us things, so it's buy, buy, buy. Mm. And you go to the shops where it's all crowded and it's yep. all crazy. And yeah. Mini Bay is a great gift, I think, for a lot of um, yeah. neurodiverse people. Absolutely. You know, Amazon, you know, on, online online ordering, shopping. You don't have to mm. go into crazy shopping places full of crazy people. Mm. And so, but yeah, be selfish, really, because mm. you need to, if you're neurodiverse, you need to take care of yourself. Yeah. You know? Um, there are certain things that you need, you know. And, Definitely. And neurotypical people around you might, you know, just have to um, accept that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Marky. Merry Christmas! <laughs>